Hi guys! The purpose of this video is to show you how to make some basic line designs. This is just an introduction to line designs and it's going to show you the simplest of the line designs. If you're interested in more advanced line designs, check out my other videos for um, intermediate line designs and advanced line designs. So to start with, you're going to want to draw, use a ruler to draw two axes. Um, I like to make mine 10 by 10. You can choose whatever measurements you want as long as your Y and your X axes are equal. Then you're going to start at the top, uh, the very top vertex, and use your ruler to connect a line from the top vertex down to the first vertex um, on your X axis. So you go from point, oh, the first point to the first point. The next step move your ruler down to the second point and connect a line from the second point down to the second point over. And then move your ruler down to the third point and connect your line from the third point down to the third point over. So you have a line going from point one to this point, from the second point to the second point, and from the third point to the third point. When you first uh, try, it might be easier if you put little dots at all of your vertices so you kind of know what you're aiming for with your ruler. That helps you maybe like line up, match up the dots, connect the dots. When you're finished, you will have drawn 10 lines and you will have what looks like a slope or a curve even though they're all made out of straight lines. Pretty cool. You can use that basic design to make some uh, fancy ones depending on how you put them together. So for example, I could put four of them together. Here's one in this corner, and then another one in this corner, and another one in this corner, and another one in this corner to make like a you know a star kind of. You could string them together to make, like I would have kept going if my paper had enough room, to make like, um, I don't know, maybe these are like icicles, sort of, or if you flip over your paper, it looks a little bit like a bridge. You can also do a design like this, where you put the basic four in the middle, and then do four on the outside, that's kind of cool. You could even maybe add a smaller one in each of these little sections. And some people like to shade them in or color them in. You could do this with a colored pen or a colored pencil. What I did here was just make the basic four and then I shaded in every other like in a checkerboard pattern. So you can explore and just use your imagination to make some cool designs. Enjoy!